Hello. My name is Luca something about the biochemistry of a crocodile. So we know that a crocodile is a pretty badass animal. Uh, the bite of a crocodile is I think around 3,700 PSI pounds per square inch which is a little uh, a bit higher than normal than the usual carnivores like the lion, hyenas and even tigers which are which have the bite strength of about uh, a, a, a thousand PSI yes so crocodiles have a very powerful incredible biochemistry and physiology that allow it to perform these feats of strength something else also is that crocodile is able to hold its breath for even more than two hours underwater so what gives the crocodile this incredible uh, ability what physiological or biochemical adaptation uh, give crocodile these incredible uh, fits so crocodiles belong to the uh, they belong to the what was this again they belong to the family crocodile cro crocodile die so these are family of um, crocodiles and they have when you look at the evolutionary tree of the crocodile they are mostly they, they, they are related to the birds the most you can say a crocodile is the worst bird so what are the the distinctive distinctive features and biochemical pathways that are very exclusive the crocodile that gives it they are powerful uh, that gives the crocodile these powerful abilities so when you look at the respiratory let us let us go to them how the crocodile manage to breathe underwater and underwater underwater for extended periods of time can find a crocodile being submerged underwater able to hunt and even capture the prey without even uh, coming above the water the cabaret the gasp of air so so the breathing system of a crocodile is pretty pretty normal uh, there is more similar to our breathing system it's hard is uh, almost the same as ours having four jumpers so something uh, physiologically a little different from us is that from most mammals that's not exclusively say uh, us because uh, that they most mammals is that a crocodile have a small opening called the foramen of panisa between the left and right aorta so they have a, a small opening called the foramen of panisa and what does this opening do so uh, it means that blood does not have to unnecessarily flow the lungs because it makes sense because when this guy is uh, marched underwater there is no need to breath uh, for blood to be flowing uh, to the lungs because there is no oxygen being obtained from the lungs so it kind of conserve energy so one thing is that um, blood is not flowing uh, to the lungs when crocodile is underwater so something else is that the heart rate will 
do four, do two, do three bits per minute. So because a uh, crocodile is is holding its breath, the heart rate is falling to two to three bits per minute. So crocodile is holding its breath and and the heart rate is falling to two to three bits per minute. So the crocodile has held its breath and the heartbeat is falling to two to three bits per minute. So how does it manage to to move around because you need to be breaking down energy. You need to be breaking down glucose to provide energy for movement. So how does it go about this? So something else is that the metabolism of the crocodile when it has held it, its its breath is mostly anaerobic this means that the the metabolism is carried out chemical reactions are carried out this was the most important part because i wanted us to look at the biochemical processes that enables a crocodile to have this powerful uh, ability to hold its breath. So, most of the metabolism is anaerobic. This means that glucose is being broken down to provide uh, energy, but not using oxygen, with the absence of oxygen. So, so uh, if a uh, uh, crocodile is having uh, crocodile has a more efficient uh, anaerobic metabolic pathways compared to most mammals that allows it to get energy for use when it is underwater. So so this energy is required for move for uh, for movement underwater. See a crocodile has spotted its prey and it is about to jump on it or devour it. So most of the energy that it is obtaining that it is using is being obtained from anaerobic reactions. So it is those this energy uh, is mostly from uh, glycosis. So, and we know that glycosis is, is this reaction whereby glucose is being broken down using enzymes to produce energy and pyrupic acid. So, it, this uh, glycosis, uh, crocodile makes use of these enzymes. Uh, these enzymes assist to... Uh, because an aerobic reaction is usually very energy demanding. So crocodile will employ glycosis because it is employing enzymes. That make this uh, reaction reaction that reaction that does not uh, require oxygen to be more efficient. So by employing glycosis uh the the glucose can be broken down more efficiently to produce energy uh, that is required by the crocodile underwater so i think those are the most important concept of biochemistry that assists the crocodile in having its powerful uh, fits for uh, like as we had said that it can stay underwater for even more than two hours without coming up to take a gasp of oxygen so there was uh, there was this organ foramen of panisa which 
allow which make it possible that blood will not flow to the lungs unnecessarily conserving energy then there is a vision and aerobic reaction through glycosis those are just components uh, distinctive components that gives crocodile this incredible biochemistry uh, this incredible physiology and, and uh, biochemistry that allows it to stay underwater uh, for extended periods of time and have a strong uh, bite strength this is the end of this video